Create your own 3D model in Blender. Delete all scene collection. Press A plus delete. Let's start by creating a plane. Press Shift plus A and choose the plane. Set view from top. Use the Z axis. Edit the plane with keyboard tab and select mode to vertex. In edit mode, select the two vertices and choose delete. Select the vertices and set their modifiers. Press the modifiers button. Set add modifier and search screw. In the modifier, set the angle from 360 degrees to zero degrees. Screw set to wall heights. Step viewport set to one and render also to one. Let's add another modifier. Search solidify. Set thickness to wall thickness, it can be 0.2M. According to the floor plan, set offset to 0.0. .0. Check the even thickness. Exit the edit mode with tab and set shade auto smooth with right click on mouse. Then again with right click on the mouse set origin to geometry. Set the measurement go to edit preferences, add-ons find the measure it tool and check it. Go to edit mode with tab and mark the wall. Set the measurement of the wall. Go to view, measure emit tools and set the segment. Add the layout. Move the .jpg layout from the folder to Blender. Scale the wall with arrows, press tab to edit and pull the vertex. Exit edit mode with tab. Set the scale of layout according to the wall. Press S to scale. Move the layout to the place where the wall is. Press G to position. Let's make walls. Click on the wall and press tab. Drag the vertex to the corner. Pull out the vertex and drag it along the x-axis. Press E to extrude and mark both vertices and move them to the layout. Repeat the procedure. Turn on the magnet or snap on the vertices. Press Y axis and drag the vertex to the other one. Mark both vertices and connect them with keyboard F. Mark two points of the walls and copy them with keyboards Ctrl plus C and paste with Ctrl plus V. Move the copied wall along the X axis. Move the vertices according to layout. Draw all the walls with the same thickness. Copy and fit vertices. If you want to rotate the wall, press R and write degrees of rotation. Copy the wall and separate it. Click right mouse button and set separate selection. Exit from editing the previous walls with tab. Press right mouse button and set origin to geometry. Set the thickness of the new wall. Go to modifiers and solidify. This type of wall will be a pillar. Place the pillars and possibly change the thickness in modifiers and solidify. Exit from editing mode with tab. Press shift plus A, go to mesh and choose the cube. Go to panel object and in viewport display set color to wire. Go to modifiers. Search Boolean. Choose the pipette and click on the cube. Set the view from top use the axis. Move the cube to the door position on the Z axis. Go to edit mode with tab. Mark the cube and scale it. Press S to scale and Y to Y axis. You can see the cutout here. 
set the side view. Set the wireframe view and move the cube. Measure the length of the wall and panel view. Measure it tools set the segment on the selected vertex. After setting the height, copy the cube to the door locations. Select all vertices of the cube. Click on the vertex and press Shift plus L. Create all door cutouts. Adjust the height of the walls and pillars, set screw to 3M. Set the view from a side and move the cutters a little bit down with G and Z. You can see some problems with cutters. To solve them, go to Modifiers, Boolean, Solver set to Fast. Now the cutouts are correct. Set the view from top with Z axis. Hide the layout. Click on the eye and scene collection. Let's make a floor. Press Shift plus A, go to Mesh and choose the plane. Turn on the magnet and go to Edit Mode with Tab. Select the vertexes and move to the corner use the magnet to help you. Select all the floor with it. Cut the floor into individual rooms press K to cut an A to auxiliary lines. Confirm the cutout with Enter. Set wireframe view for better visibility. Set solid view. Set select mode to face. You can see individual rooms. Select all floor with A and set the material. Set next material in panel material and press plus. Change the color and viewport display. Select some of the rooms and set the different color hold, shift, to select multiple floors at once. Press assign to apply the material on the selected floor. Make windows. Resize the cubes and move them around. The same process as the door's cutters. Hide the window's cutters and layout by clicking the eye in the scene collection. Check the walls and set the material with plus. Check the pillars and set the material. Export the project to .fbx, go to File, Export, and choose FBX, Limit to Selected Objects. In Transform, apply Scalings, check the FBX unit scale. In Geometry, Smoothing check apply modifiers. In Armature, uncheck Add Leaf Bones. Then uncheck Bake Animation. And then export to FBX, Register Model to Application. Press Sign Up on the Twinzo website. Set the name of your company. Set the name of your digital twin. Set your email. Choose the .fbx model. Follow the instructions in the email and press the button Complete Registration. Set client name and choose a password. Click Register and then Sign Up. Open the application. Set client, login and password. Here is your model. You can change something in your model. Press Shift plus A, go to Mesh and choose the plane. Turn on Snapping Tool. Click on the Magnet and Vertex. Set Top View and Wireframe Mode for better manipulation. Make changes such as a plane around a building. Use E to extrude the vertexes and choose X or Y to the desired axis. Exit from Edit Mode with Tab and go back to Solid Mode View. 
Edit the plane width tab and set the select mode to face. Make some changes. Choose the room and assign a different material. Exit from edit mode and select the plane. Set the material. Export the project to .fbx. Go to File and choose the Export to FBX. Include Limit to Selected Objects. In Transform, apply Scalings, check the FBX unit scale. In Geometry, Smoothing check Apply Modifiers. In Armature, uncheck Add Leaf Bones. Then uncheck Bake Animation. And then export to FBX. Through Email Login to Platform.twinzo.eu. Go to Places and Branches, click on the pin. Click on the Select Model, then click on Upload Model. Choose the updated model. Press buttons Upload and Save. In a moment your updated model will be in the application.